It's an issue that sparked student protests at the University of Texas. UT employees who committed sexual misconduct still have their jobs. Tonight, after months of asking, the KVU defenders learned the names of those employees. Here's investigative reporter Brad Stryker. A new list of 17 current and former employees at UT Austin tonight. All of them, the school's Office of Inclusion and Equity, found guilty of sexual misconduct. Pieces from that report showing employees initiated unwanted physical contact, made inappropriate sexual comments, and even stalked colleagues. <laughs> The list comes after months of demonstrations on campus. Students speaking out about how the school handles sexual misconduct reports. We are not asking for the world. We're just asking not to be put in the hands of abusers as we try to get our degree. This UT Austin student and organizer of the group fired the abusers, asked to be anonymous because she's worried about the school retaliating against her. She took an American literature class from one of the professors on that list, Coleman Hutchison. She remembers him often analyzing readings with sexual content, which bothered her. I remember watching them as he was <laughs> emphatically uh, reading these selections and just thinking to myself, what is the utility of this? <laughs> Hutchison joins five others from that list who committed sexual misconduct, but still work at UT Austin. That includes faculty members Johan Hoffman and Kevin Dalby in the College of Natural Sciences. A spokesperson for UT Austin said in a statement tonight, sexual misconduct violates the values and policies of UT Austin. Transparency around past violations, which is mandated by the Texas Public Information Act, is an important step toward accountability. But the UT Austin student told us until everyone on that list is gone from the university, she doesn't agree. If they were taking these concerns seriously, these professors would not have their job right now. The defenders originally asked for all complaints of sexual misconduct at UT Austin. A spokesperson told me today that request would be hard to complete because of privacy concerns for students who reported it. We'll update you when we hear more from them. For the KVU Defenders, Brad Stryker, KVU News.